Welcome to A Thought for Today with me, Bro Steph. And today, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to read a scripture that has recently meant a lot to me. And let me read that to you now. It's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by a sad countenance the heart is made better. And here's my thoughts on this for today. And forgive me, but I want to share my personal experience and how the Lord used this scripture in my life recently. As many of you know, I lost my companion, Jazz, last Thursday. Uh, Jazz was brought to me and to Carlin, but specifically the Lord got Jasmine into my life when I was at an extremely low point in my life. I have suffered from a medical condition that causes me to feel like I have the flu 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This doesn't let up. In fact, it just gets worse. And so I got very depressed and discouraged as I was first learning to deal with this health issue. My wife felt like having a dog would would be good for me, that it might help lift me out of this depression. So she went with a girlfriend to the animal shelter and was looking around just to see if there might be a dog that just kind of caught her fancy and that would be good for me. So she found Jasmine, and then she took me with her to the anima shelter. And at first, I wasn't that warm or engaging with Jasmine because I had six months ago lost our, our, our other dog that was real close to me. Her name was Honey Girl. And uh, so I just wasn't feeling like I was ready for another pet. Well, as it worked out, we, I said to my wife, look, let's bring her home on a a trial basis and let's see how things go. So we brought her home and my wife and our friend were in the backyard on the grass throwing a ball with Jasmine, playing catch with her. And I stood there at the back window and watched the interaction Jasmine had with Carlin and with her friend. And I thought, what a terrific dog she is. And all of a sudden, my continent started Lifting up, I started feeling better, thinking that we should keep her and give her a good home. And so I told Carlin this. And uh, Carlin said, all right, let's keep her. So Carlin made all the arrangements at the animal shelter, and Jasmine became part of our family. And very quickly, Jasmine became attached to me. And let me just share with you one other thing that Jasmine used to do 
And when I think about it now, it just makes me really happy. And it's this. She would jump up on our bed um, when she was trying to wake me up in the morning. Uh, she would move the blinds in the bedroom so that they would make a clattering sound to try to get me up. And then she would jump up onto the bed, walk up onto my pillow. My So imagine you're... You're in bed, your head's on your pillow. Jasmine would wrap her body around the top of my head, the crown of my head, and she would put her head on my forehead and her paw on the side of my face or her shoulder. And she would just lay there with me while I was still sleeping, waiting for me to wake up to go downstairs with her and with Angel or other uh, for a baby, and make them their breakfast. That's the kind of dog that she was. She was gentle, extremely loving, very compassionate, perceptive, like I've never seen before in a dog. And she just loved being around us and us being around her. So, the scripture that we read today really says that when we allow sorrow to have its work in us, and we allow the Holy Spirit to teach us to become softer inside, gentle, kind, empathetic, gracious, compassionate, when we allow sorrow by the Holy Spirit to have its full work in us, it then leads to a glad heart, a heart of joy. And now when I think of the memories with Jasmine, I'm full of joy. And it makes me happy and glad to remember her. The other thing that happened is... As I saw that she was entering the end of her life, I prayed at night around three or four in the morning. I prayed and said, Father, don't let Jasmine suffer, but help her to pass on gently and quietly without suffering. And the Lord did that. He, the, the end of her life, that road she was, we were all walking on together, actually, uh, didn't take long at all for us to know it was her time to be with God. And the other thing I asked the Lord, I said, please, Lord, help me to deal with the sorrow and the broken heart that I will have when she leaves. And it was not even 24 hours later after I prayed that, that the Lord gave me the scripture I have shared with you today. That sorrow, let sorrow have its full work in me with the Holy Spirit's help, and that will turn into gladness and joy. So today, if you're feeling sorrowful about something, pray and ask the Lord to help you with it. If you ask for his help with a sincere heart, a heart that believes in him, that's full of faith, and a heart that says, help me, Father, I need your help with this. He will help you, just like he did me, just like he's doing with Carla and my wife. We miss Jasmine. I can't tell you how much we miss her. But the Lord is with us, walking us through it all. 
What a great God we have. What a great Savior we have. And so we can all say together, Lord Jesus, thank you for being there when we need you, but not just when we need you, being there all the time in our lives. Thank you. Remember now, reach out to the Lord and ask for his help. He wants to help you. This is Bro Stuff reminding you to keep looking up because Jesus is returning. Make it a great evening or day, wherever you might be. And remember, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, That's going to be January 31st. Bye for now.